The Bible tells Nicodemus, marvel not that I say unto you, ye must be born again. My friend, there has to be a new birth taking place inside of you. A church cannot save you. A baptism cannot save you. But I tell you what, my friend, Jesus Christ can save your soul. The Bible says, for God so loved this world that He gave His only begotten Son. My friend, God so loved you, He commended His love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. My friend, Jesus Christ died for your sin. What will you do with Jesus? What will you do with this man called Christ? The Bible says you must be born again. My friend, I tell you, church membership will not save you. A baptism will not save you. But Jesus Christ can save your soul. Well, the Bible says, If thou shalt confess the Lord Jesus Christ with thy mouth, believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For there is no salvation in any other. For there is no other name given among men whereby we must be saved. My friend, I tell you today that today is the day of salvation. What will you do with Jesus? What will you do with the man called Christ? Will you reject him again today? Well, the Bible says that God came to seek and save that which was lost. Jesus Christ came to seek and save you. Will you reject Him again today? Will you reject the free gift of God? For well, the Bible says that the wages of sin is death. And the, gift, the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. My friend, it's not in a church membership. It's not in a baptism. It's in Jesus Christ and Him alone. My friend, what will you do with Jesus? What will you do with a man called Christ? Will you reject Him again today? My friend, the Bible says one day you'll be asking yourself, what will He do with me? Well, the Bible says at some point we will all spend eternity somewhere. And the Bible clearly tells us, for what shall it profit a man if he gaineth the whole world and lose his own soul? I tell you, that man has gained nothing. He is without hope he is lost and without God. My friend, what will you do with Jesus? What will you do with the man called Christ? The Bible says that Jesus Christ came into the world. I tell you, He came for one purpose. To die for our sin. For God so loved this world that He gave His only begotten Son. I tell you, God so loved you that He gave Jesus Christ to die for you. Let me ask you something. What will you do with God's free gift? Will you reject it again today? Because one day you're going to find yourself asking what God is going to do with you. For you will surely spend eternity somewhere. My friend, there's surely, if there's a heaven, there is a hell. If surely there is good rewards, there is a punishment. And my friend, you cannot get away without some kind of judgment. Well, the Bible says well, we must all appear. Hey, eh? we must all appear before God. And I'll tell you, friend, you're going to appear there one of two ways. You're going to appear there lost and undone and without hope, or you're going to appear there with Jesus Christ as your mediator. Well, the Bible says there's but one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. The only way to heaven is through Jesus Christ. The only way to get there is through the blood of Christ. The only way to get to heaven is through Him. Church will not save you. A baptism will not save you. But Jesus Christ can save your soul. Well, the Bible says Jesus came to seek and save that which was lost. And friend, without God, we were lost without hope and without God in this world. And without Jesus Christ, we will die in our sins. I want to tell you today, my friend, there is a hope. There is a way of salvation. And the way of that salvation is Jesus Christ. Why? Because God commended His love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. 
I'll tell you, there is no hope in any other, my friend. The Bible says, He that hath the Son hath life. And he that hath not the Son of God hath not life, but the wrath of God abideth upon him. So my question today, my friend, is, what will you do with Jesus? What will you do with a man called Christ? Will you reject him again today? For surely one day you will be asking, what will he do with you?